you're tired of wasting your money on mediocre microphones, I have a solution for you. If there's one company that's worth your time and money and competes with some of the best budget microphones, it's Mono. Mono? Mono? I can never pronounce any of these things right. You've seen my review of their budget condenser microphones. Well, today I'm taking a look at one of their own dynamic microphone, the Mono PD200X, which I see as a direct competitor to other budget dynamic microphones in the same space, such as Fifine, Toner, and even brands like Blue Yeti and Audio Technica, which sometimes do charge more money for their name. Mono stands out as a clear competitor due to its ability to produce high quality audio at a competitive price, a free sound mixer through Mono Link, and its high quality design. We'll go over the unboxing, quality, specs, sound test, and a final conclusion. So let's get started. The Mono PD200X boasts RGB, XLR, and USB-C connections, headphone monitoring, and microphone input gain, headset volume, quick mute, and Mono Link compatibility. Man, the list goes on. In the box, it only comes with the bare minimum though, such as the microphone itself and a USB-C cable. No stand in this one, but it does have a shock mount, and it's fine as long as it kept the price reduced ever so slightly. It also comes with an adapter if your boom arm isn't so standard. It is decently lightweight, but made of high quality metal, giving it a nice feel on the outside. And the shock mount isn't anything special, but it does get the job done and prevent any unwanted bumps. The wind cover is removable and held together with a few magnets, which is a nice touch overall. It has a frequency response of 40 Hertz to 16 kilohertz, which allows it to record crystal clear and clean audio. Not to mention I've been using it throughout this entire video. It uses a cardioid pickup pattern to reduce any noise coming in the room from the backside of the microphone as well. I immediately hooked it up and played some Call of Duty with the buddies. I honestly was super impressed with the sound quality. It sounded good whether it was the USB-C or XLR connection. It blocked out of the background noise by adjusting the input volume just a little bit. The cylinder form factor of the microphone made it easy to adjust to keep out of my vision while also being close enough to pick up my volume. And you might notice the super rad boom arm I've got hooked up. I just released a video on this as well. You should check that out on my channel. Now this is a beautiful microphone overall. The form factor is just right in comparison to something like the Fifine AM8, which seems a little bit thicker and more squarish. It has a subtle ring of RGB around the microphone with eight solid color effects and one RGB effect and the ability to turn it off entirely. Though it does leave this white ring around it. Since a lot of you are going to be using this for streaming or gaming, I decided to record some gameplay footage with me as if simulating streaming. I don't stream at all, but I'm trying to get used to it. But this is a great use case that you might have. This is using the XLR connection, so keep that in mind. But the two different connection methods don't sound that much different, which you'll see later in the official sound test. That was a dope shot. I'm glad I got that on tape just now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna camp at the next hard point. Uh, don't see anybody. Oh gosh. <laughs> There's a sniper staring right at me. And they got thing down. They got a trophy system down. Can I disable trophy systems with the uh, DDoS? Yeah. They have a sniper in the back camping too. Finally. Gosh. Triple. It is also compatible with their Mano Link software, which allows you to adjust the gain, head foot volume, and toggle monitoring off and on, EQ using several preset configurations, and a limiter and compressor automatically. You can add default tone settings to the microphone, such as deep, original, and natural, and configure all the RGB on the fly. Normally, this would need to be done through OBS and a few extra tweaks to get the output to work correctly, but this all comes free. So with everything out of the way, let's compare the Fifine AM8 with the Mano PD200X, because I already know that all my other microphones will be blown out of the competition, other than the Fifine, which is also a dynamic mic but also very comparable in terms of sound instead of running through several microphones i'll provide you with longer sound bites of each microphone and each through the different connection methods with different effects applied so you can see how much quality you can squeeze out of both this is the fifine am8 and this is what it sounds like through its usb-c connection today's corny joke why did the chicken go to the seance to get to the other side this is the fifine am8 and this is what it sounds like through its xlr connection today's corny joke what do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? Sophisticated. This is the Mono PD200X, and this is what it sounds like through its XLR connection. In today's corny joke, what do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite. This is the Mono PD200X, and this is what it sounds like through its USB-C connection. And I don't have a corny joke for you today, but the moonlight shimmered on the lake as the swans glided gracefully across the water. I hope you liked that one. 
The Mano PD200X is a microphone that punches above its weight class in terms of quality and features. I want to leave you with five reasons why it's definitely worth your consideration. The price. This microphone offers an incredible value for its price range, making it accessible to really anyone on a budget without sacrificing any quality. It's flexible in terms of connection. You can use XLR and USB connections, meaning if you don't really have an interface yet or plan on getting one in the future, this would be a good stopgap in the meantime. The sound quality is something out of this world and honestly only a few microphones in this price range can really meet. Meaning good sound is no longer out of reach for people that don't have thousands of dollars to spend on just their audio equipment. Now one of the biggest benefits is this Mano Link software. It's completely free, compatible with the microphone through USB-C connection, but the features it packs are absolutely insane and worth your time and make it really easy to make your microphone sound better. Lastly is the look. The shape, the feel, the quality, all of it absolutely exceeds my expectations and will fit any gaming setup just perfectly. So if you're looking for a microphone that's not going to make you broke but also sound amazing, this is definitely one I can recommend and I think you should toss in your card. If you're interested in picking one of these out, there is a link in the description to the Amazon listing and also there's an exclusive code to my viewers that gives you 20% off the microphone as well. Is this one worth the price? Yes. Yes. Run, run, flee, go, go forth, get it. If you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe and see more from me, please subscribe and have a good rest of your day.